Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's your boy Jay Stein coming at you with a little, little week. Uh, well, I wouldn't say. Anyways, a little midday uh, report, I guess. Whatever. So we're creeping up to that time. Uh, oh, GameStop earnings are coming out. Unless they have some mind blowing some sort of new product that they're going to have. They are going to have zero new news to say. They're going to have no explanation on their price action nor what they're going to do with any of the money that they made off of it. Um, you know, if they were to do something cool like online coaches, so say you're like playing a video game and you have like part of your screen is a coach, a GameStop certified coach, who's walking you through the game, you know, maybe you pay a subscription, maybe you pay a one-time fee, maybe you buy a game and it comes with two hours of coach time or something like that, that would be cool. That actually would be revolutionary. That would cause that price to jump the way it did. So unless they announce something like this, I don't see anything being good. Um, or new or special or you know unique about this uh, particular deal. Now the question is, do you short it or do you buy it? By all rights and respects and general, I don't know, thought process, I would say short it because I don't think the Reddit crowd can hold up against the amount of bad news or lack of news to pump it back up. And I think once this thing comes back to earth to its real valuation, which really is like, I don't know, let's call it generously $20 a share. Um, the people who bought it right now or are holding it right now, uh, they're going to get destroyed. They are. And the shorts are going to eat it up. Now on the other end, if the Reddit crowd does get behind it and is able to pump it back up, the shorts are going to get absolutely destroyed. So either or, if you are on this play, you're taking a massive, massive risk. So my question is, is it time to short GameStop? Finally. Is it finally time to say, you know what? Definitively, there's no... I mean, there's no... There really is. There's no... Uh, conventional wisdom or reason or rhyme or why this thing should even be where it's at. So I'm not saying I'm going to short it. I'm not saying you should short it or keep it or hold it. Do whatever you want. Me personally, I'm staying way away from this thing, uh, way away from it. And uh, I mean, it's got 26% uh, short, and I would expect that to go up um, as the afternoon goes up. So anyways, let's see uh, what happens after the market. Today has just been a crazy day. Um, the Federal Reserve, or not Federal Reserve, yeah, the Treasury Secretary and Federal Reserve President just got done uh, testifying in front of the uh Senate committee, uh, banking of banking committee or whatever, um, which dear God, like you better hope you have your coffee or espresso maker there. Cause those things will put you to sleep. I mean, seriously, I was like slapping myself. I have a little ice mask for my face, you know, to, to keep the wrinkles away. I had to put that on, you know, freaking trying to stay awake. It was rough. It was really rough. There's like three simple questions you have to ask. Okay, is there a problem with inflation? Okay, is there a problem with the rates? Okay, and are you gonna keep printing money depending on how quickly the uh, recovery uh, takes from the pandemic? Those three questions, that's all you needed. That's all you needed, that's it. But no, no, these, these senators and politicians, they wanna ask a million different questions a million different ways so they can put it on their campaign ads when it comes time to campaign anyways. Uh, the markets didn't exactly like it. They did dip. We are down. Nothing crazy. Not enough to make me sell anything. Um, I mean, I'm green across the board. So 
you know, what can I say? Um, I'm going to hold tight for right now. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I'll check in with you a couple hours from now unless something else comes up. And yeah, let's see what happens with GameStop. Yeah, later. Oh, please subscribe.